Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is definitely not what I was actually expecting to film or create. As you've probably seen from the title and thumbnail of this video, this is me um, basically trying and attempting to make an, a, a marker artwork and kind of failing at it. However, we do end up uh, fixing it at the end and I end up like redrawing it and, I, and I'm actually very happy with the results of that. But I really wanted to show you guys the process uh, that I went through and basically how I was feeling throughout the whole thing and what I did at the end to still salvage this artwork. So this video began its life as a sort of another one of those testing out art supplies and affordable art supplies and stuff. And these are uh, like professional, apparently, markers that I got from Officeworks. They are a alcohol based marker. So sort of like your alternative for, co for Copics. And um, I really wanted to test them out because I was kind of curious. And you saw me swatch them just before and I realized when I was swatching them that there was quite a few greens in this set compared to any other color. There were three greens and um, pretty much one of like each other color and we didn't even have a purple. So I was very confused about what I wanted to draw and I decided since there was a little bit more green I wanted to draw something with perhaps say a lot of plants because uh, plants is something that I love to draw and uh, it's definitely something that you think about when uh, you think of the color green. So I started off sketching out this little artwork here and it's just on some mixed media paper, uh, one of my first mistakes, <laughs> and I just sketched out this cute little garden, uh, raised garden bed and a little cat jumping out of the garden bed and some little uh, mouse down below, mice, that uh, may not be aware that the cat is jumping out and I just thought that it was a like a fun kind of artwork and a little bit morbid if you think about the mice. <laughs> Perhaps they, they got away from this cat so don't worry too much about them. But yeah, I did basically what I do for a lot of my marker artworks. I sketched out with pencil, I erased the pencil till it was almost gone and then I used some multi-liners over the top to ink the piece and of course I went in with the markers here. Now starting off the green doesn't look too bad. It is very saturated though. I will note that a lot of the um, colors, pretty much all of the colors in this set are saturated except obviously the black and the brown but uh speaking about the brown this is where uh it started to go awry a little bit <laughs> um as you can see the brown is just super dark even darker than how it looked in my swatch which was quite interesting i guess that's just how different papers will affect these markers but it was much darker than i expected and that i wanted and i knew that it wasn't going to look amazing if i didn't lighten up the brown a little bit because as you can see my beautiful line art is just disappearing in this really dark brown color. So I attempted to actually lighten the color because uh, if you're not aware with markers you can layer over lighter colors and it's sort of like uh, softens the color a little bit and mixes a little bit and uh, that's how we get lovely blends with our alcohol based markers and I attempted to layer over some yellow to sort of lighten it a little bit so I could still see some of that line art and um, it didn't look amazing it went a little bit patchy actually and I ended up having to tone it down later with a little bit of green just because the color was very intense and as you can see I've added a little bit of texture you know just as to try and allude to that wood grain that I got with my um, line art that disappeared. Now as you can see I've moved on to the little stepping stones and I had the idea to make a brown but a lighter brown. So I decided to layer over some orange uh, and some uh, like a blue or a greeny kind of color to sort of make a soft brown. And you can see where my next mistake was basically layering those colors i don't know why but the marker ended up bleeding so much out of the lines when i started layering one color over the other and i was very confused about that because i don't usually get that problem with copics too much i usually can layer markers uh you know and get different tones that's a thing that you do and i know that it can happen a little bit more on this paper the mixed media paper but i just felt like the effect 
effect was very extreme, especially on those stepping stones. And after I ended up adding in like other parts, like the plants and stuff, I just really didn't like this artwork anymore. And I felt like it just didn't look good and the colors were just wrong. And I felt like I kind of failed a little bit with it. And I was disappointed because I really loved the line art and the whole idea of this artwork. And honestly, I'm so glad that I took a photo of the line art before I ended up coloring over it and ruining it. And I decided, you know what? I don't think I can film like a marker video today with these markers. I feel like the colors just aren't amazing enough. And, um, I guess it's like kind of a test for these, but I feel like the pack that I did get, uh, I probably didn't get enough markers to end up making, you know, a good artwork, which is something to say about the actual art supply company. They really should have thought a little bit more about the colors that they were putting in these sets because you need to be able to actually buy, you know, a set and be able to make an artwork with them without having to buy multiple uh, sets to you know fill up your colors I feel like you should be able to just pick a set and be able to make artwork and that's why those markers are you know together in a set I don't know it confuses me a little bit but I was determined to you know make this artwork a thing and give it justice because I really loved the idea and the design I just didn't like the execution so I got that actual little photo that I took and I'm so glad that I did I imported it into procreate and I drew over the top to turn this into a digital artwork because I really wanted to see this artwork in its full glory and I'm so glad I did that because this is where it actually gets really fun and I ended up playing with a lot of colors and I ended up mixing like you know ideas around and I got something that turned out very cute. So as you can see I have changed up the art style a little bit and I kind of subtly uh, fix the look on the cat's face to make it look a little bit more natural. <laughs> the eyes were just a tiny bit wrong. And I decided I wasn't going to use line art for this. I wanted to go full head on into the digital art style and make this a sort of like a digital painting. And I ended up um, just having like blocks of color for each of the uh, items. And then I went over and I added texture and shading to each of those items. And instead of having line art, I just sort of like defined the shadows and made it look like a really nice little lineless art style. And I really love the way that I colored the cat as well. I feel like I just just, uh, you know, made it a little bit more subtle and natural looking instead of that fluoro orange that was uh, the only color that I could think of using in the marker set. And it's funny looking back on it because the colors that I actually used for this cat, I didn't realize at the time, but now that I'm looking at it, it looks a lot like Simba from The Lion King. And honestly, I love that so much. I feel like it definitely has this cheeky little vibe, except it's just a, a fluffy cat instead of a uh, baby lion. <laughs> and I love this sort of simple design that you get with the mice as well. I ended up deciding to add a little bit of a fluffy effect to this cat using the blend tool on uh, Procreate and I just sort of smudged around a lot of the colors to make him look nice and fluffy and I also added a motion blur to his body and his paws to make it look like he's jumping out and uh, it looks like a photo that you get of a cat when the cat's moving and there's a bit of a blur. I just really like the look of that and I also decided to add in some extra plants in the foreground and put a little bit of a blur on them as well so it looks like it's a camera that's like focusing on the cat and honestly, after I added all of that and uh, I added some sort of glowy effects as if it's in like the bright sun, I really love this artwork. And here's the before and how sort of not good it looks compared to the final artwork of the digital artwork. And I'm so glad I ended up, you know, giving this artwork a second chance because I really think it turned out really cool. I love the way that the colors are sort of glowing in the sun and we have some sort of pinkish reddish like shadows as well. It just gives the whole thing a really nice playful vibe and um, I love looking at this cheeky little cat. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you found it enjoyable or amusing <laughs> or maybe you learned something, I don't know. Please let me know in the
in the comments below what you think of my art and the beginning and the end <laughs> and i hope you're all having an amazing day please stay safe out there and i shall see you in my next video bye everyone